Hi, this is Rob Heppel. I just wanted to answer another question that I'd received regarding the Funeral One website review. Uh, it was Todd's second question here, and it says, uh, I went to the Schettinger site and found out what city that they were in and did a Google search for Columbus Funeral Homes. They hold the number one spots for both the map and the listing. It's hard to criticize the SEO quality of the site, achieving the best results possible. Well, and Todd, thanks for your question. So they have that number one position because they've been around for a long time and they've had uh, a good site. But with what we know today, there are certain things that are just no-brainers to have in your site architecture and their new site are missing those things. So I'm not sure, I'm not saying that they are going to fall from the number one spot, but if you have the ability to fix or add these things in the beginning, then they won't be an issue. Let me show you what I mean. So here we are in the Google rankings for Columbus Funeral Homes. And Todd is right. There is Scheninger's site right here, number one, and also right here. And you get those rankings for a lot of different factors, such as the number of backlinks coming to a website. That's probably the number one reason why websites get ranked higher is the number of backlinks. But there's some things that you can do on the website itself to improve those rankings. And let me tell you what I mean. We'll go to the site here. We're going to do a site search, and we're meaning we're only going to look at the pages that are under the Schettinger.com domain. And this demonstrates one of the two flaws that I mentioned in the original video. Their page titles are identical. Every page is titled the same. And sure, this title will help them rank for Columbus Funeral Homes, Columbus Cremation, but what about funeral planning? What about other terms associated with funerals and Columbus? It's those deeper specific search terms that they are giving themselves a disadvantage by having all these pages titled the exact same. Now, if we do a site search for the Amos family site, you can see that each one of these titles is different. And what that's going to allow a funeral home like Amos to do is rank for some of these smaller, what they call more long tail search terms. They're still going to rank for Shawnee funeral homes, but they're also going to have a better opportunity to rank for these more specific things. Again, from a usability standpoint, if someone's searching for a specific term, you want them to get to there in the least amount of clicks as possible. The second issue is that there's no sign of an XML sitemap. For the website. An XML sitemap is the preferred way Google, Yahoo, and Microsoft want you to keep them up to date with changes to your website. And I have a little utility here in my Firefox to let me see if someone has an XML sitemap. And you can see here that it says 404 error, file or directory not found. So then I thought, well, it should be in the Robox text file, but they don't have one of those either. These are two elements that the search engines have said, these are things that you should add to your site so that we can navigate them better. Now, in contrast, if we do the same for our example for Amos Family, you'll see this is what an XML sitemap should look like. And it is just a long page of all of the pages that are indexed from this website in Google and the other search engines. So you can see there's literally hundreds of pages here. So Todd, I hope that answers your question. It's more than just searching for Columbus Funeral Homes. We want to make sure that we can find all of these different terms. So those two things, not titling the pages properly on an individual basis and not having an XML sitemap are a disadvantage to the way the Schettinger site is currently at. And the thing is, any web developer should know that and should be incorporated when they're building a new website. So I hope that answers your question. And Todd, again, I thank you for your response.